today we're talking everything blindness, disability and confidence. So grab a cup of tea and let's chat disability. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. We are chatting everything confidence and blindness today because a lovely person in the comment section down below left me a question last week. Lucy, how do you stay so positive and confident in your down times? Well, I'm very positive and confident today. So in this positive and confident mood, let's talk positivity and confidence. I think the first thing to know is I feel the most confident and myself when I'm out and about, just me and Olgie facing the world together. If I have really overcome a challenge or gone on a train ride that I was finding difficult, overcoming adversity and getting over those hurdles that I find that I face on a daily basis, a weekly basis, I actually feel more myself and more confident and I find that also on that similar vein, I am a more confident person because I challenge myself and every day I wake up and I think, right, today's a new day, I don't see anything, I could choose to feel the darkness today or I could choose to feel positive and happy in my lot in life and obviously not every day, you know, that thought process is possible, there's always going to be down days but the majority of the time I do really really push myself into thinking that way because otherwise I won't get out of bed and I had that stage in my life and I was like right we're gonna put it under the pillow and leave it there for only really really bad blind days. I think reminding myself of all of the lovely lovely things that I have in life like Olgi and my lovely family and my fiance these are the lovely things that I should be thankful for and just because I don't have vision doesn't mean I don't see the world in my own way, in a better way in some senses because I don't have all of the visual noise and um, maybe photos and other visual aspects of the day to think about. I've just got me, my algae, my touch, my smell, um, my hearing, which at the moment I've got a bit of an infected ear so I don't have that today, bit of a slightly more bad blind day today, but I think of all of the lovely things that I do have and I really harness them to make me feel confident because if I think, right, I'm going out the door today and I have got my hearing to hear my phone and go on Google Maps. I have my brain, my knowledge of the local area, um, the smell of maybe to sense where I am, hearing the birds tweeting, where is the traffic, left or right ear, I've got my 3D sound, I've got my skills as a guide dog owner that have been about seven years in the making. I am a confident woman. If I think like that, it's going to be different to oh I'm really blind and I'm going to go out the door and I don't feel very confident and I just don't know what to do today which you know granted that is a valid thing to think but try 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 your very best like I do to think the first one because you will have a better day. Also I think it's really important to be confident around the home to have a few routines that you just do off pat and you're like yes I'm me I'm working it girl yes yes I'm going to make a cup of tea so that's the first thing I'm going to do yes maybe set a, a reminder on Alexa of like a nice happy little thing uh, I always love uh, which Ollie only set for me the other week actually that um, a little reminder that the sun is starting to set in the sky because I can't see well recently I am not being able to see whether it's light or dark outside as much so he's done that little thing where you know I heard it randomly on the Alexa one day the sun is going down I thought oh that's so sweet Ollie's thought to remind me that it's going down and that's my little reminder my audible little reminder that the day is almost done and I should get in my PJs, get my candle on, get those scents, start cooking dinner and having a nice old evening with my audio descriptive telly. I really do find 
that I get a real bash to my confidence when I don't have things around me that are in the right place, that I haven't looked after myself, that I just feel overwhelmed, bewildered, confused about my surroundings, that is not a good place to be. Have a routine, put things where you know that they are, so have like a corner in your room where you do put things to sort later so you're not going to trip over things. Getting in that negative headspace with everything around you and not put in place is really bad for me and my confidence. I am the most happiest, the happiest loopy ever when everything is automated, my banking, my lights, my Alexa, my music, just say things and the radio comes on, ease of use. I don't want to be always thinking about having to do the next thing. I want to think, right, I want to do this. How's the easiest way to do this? I'm going to go, Alexa, turn on the light. Or, Alexa, turn the thermostat to 22 degrees, which is something recent that I've got. I've got a hive home, which is really cool. Um, so just these little things that you think are nothing, but all put together, you can have a really happy, confident time. Also, what's really interesting is the way I deal with situations now. A taxi refusal in the past would have been me really taking it to heart and sitting in bed and not going in a taxi for two to three, even four weeks after the incident. And now a taxi refusal is, yep, yeah, okay, I have them a lot. Maybe I need to just put them in a different place in my mind. Think about how I can deal with that you know, in a better way, because at the end of the day, they do happen frequently, whether I like it or not, and I need to put them in a different place. Now, I need to say, right, that is something that happens in my life, even though we campaign to not have it happen, and I think it shouldn't happen. However, I need to be like, well, I'm Lucy, I'm blind, I've got an assistance dog, she is beautiful, lovely, amazing, adorable, there is nothing wrong with our partnership or me as a human being, I will not take this to heart because I have a right to be a fully formed human being um, in this taxi and if you don't like us then fine, uh, but I am going to be Lucy Edwards and I'm going to be confident in that. I think confidence for me has been something in terms of that that has really built up over time. It, it, it really has been the power of looking at things you know retrospectively, in perspective, thinking about how I, I don't have to take things to heart as much. Um, I, I do tend to wear my heart on my sleeve um, and you know these things still do get me down you know I'm only human but being a confident person maybe is experience of the world as well. I, I've really settled into myself in the past year or so and just thought, you know, hey, I'm a blindie from the UK. I'll always be blind. I'll always be ginger. I'll always be Luby Lou. And yeah, that's me. And if you don't like it, then that's unfortunate for you. And I'm sorry about that. But, you know, I am who I am. I'm not going to stop being blind, I'm not going to make my eyes suddenly at work and I shouldn't beat myself up for, you know, that not being the case. So, soz boz, not today. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you think that blindness and confidence are linked for you. Is it related to your disability to be confident or not to be confident? I would really love to hear from you and I really do hope you like this video. I really enjoyed filming it and letting you know, you know, a bit about how I have developed my confidence over the years. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next Wednesday for a new one. Bye guys!